What's up guys and welcome back to some more House Flipper. I almost said Farming Simulator. This is House Flipper baby, this is episode 3. Uh, if you guys remember from the last episode, we just came through and remodeled our little shack here. Um, so if you guys are enjoying the series, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys think. But let's hop into our email here. It looks like we have our first email from Matt Marlowe. He says, baby on the way. Hello, my beautiful wife is pregnant with our first child. We have also just bought a new three-bedroom home, which requires some repairs and decorating. We have no spare time to clean and renovate the house, so we need your help. Can you please clean the house and set up a nursery complete with crib, changing table, and maybe some toys? We know we will be having a girl, so can you please paint the room light pink? Thank you so much, Matt Marlowe, soon to be dad. I don't know I don't know why that is, but if you're about to have a kid, you have to let everyone know. All right, so this is a ni this is a nice little house. I um Okay, you're telling me they're about to have a child. Why does their house look so, so bad? We're going to come through and, and clean this up quick so we don't have to do it later. This place is a disaster. Clean up the floor. Missed a little spot there. Got to get the bottom of the door. Yeah, this is a mess. Okay, so as far as the main entryway goes, I'd say that looks pretty good. Close up that front door. Let's pop open this door. Okay, so I think this is, yeah, this is where he wants the nursery to be at. So first we'll have to come through and of course clean everything. Dude, I can't believe these people are about to have a kid. This house is in, in no way, shape, or form ready to have a child in it. It honestly looks like they already have kids, based on how messy it is. Come on, get on the wall. There we go. Okay, we gotta clean this off. I'm digging the light fixture though. Light fixture looks pretty sweet. That's pretty kid friendly. Okay, so it looks like we're at 89% of the dirt. There's some dirt on the window. And we do have to clean the windows. God dang it. Okay, we yeah, we desperately need to get a new squeegee here. Try to do this as quickly as we can. Oops, we're getting some smears there. Wait, seriously? Where did I miss? Oh, there we go. Jeez. Okay, and second one. This one's not as big, so we should be able to do this a little faster. We gotta be careful when we when we do go faster. It looks like it does smear. Get that little bit. There we go. Okay. So we got clean dirt 96%. I honestly don't see any dirt unless it's behind here. No, that looks pretty good. Oh, I see it. It's on the other window. Right there. Clean that right there. Okay, it shows 99%. Where is the other bit? Oh, right there on the floor. Sweet. Okay, so we got 100% clean in this room. It says place object crib. Okay, so let's get in our tablet here. Crib. Furniture. Now, they said they were having a girl, so I feel like, I feel like white's probably not a bad idea. Let's put the crib maybe over here. Boom, just like that. Okay, place object, bookcase, call. Whatever that is. Book, oops, too many O's. Book, case, call. There we go. That we're going to do white as well. We can put that over here in the corner. Awesome. And then cabinet with changing table we'll put in front of the window. That way when they're changing the baby's diaper, you know, they... We can look out the window a little bit. Cabinet with changing table. And let's do, yeah, we'll do pink there. The room will be light pink, so try to center that. And right there, okay, that looks pretty good. 
place object times two poof. Okay, so that we're gonna put like bean bags in here, I guess. That's what they call the bean bag looking things are poofs. Let's do these. Let's do these in lily. That'll probably look the best for this room. Put this one in the corner right there. And then let's put this other one sort of right there. There we go. And then now all we have to do is paint this room pink. So pastel pink. Let's go to walls. And pa oh, that's pale pink. It's close. Let's just type pastel pink. And we're probably, with two windows in here, we're probably going to need two cans. We'll get a third just in case. I really don't know. Let's go ahead and close this door so we can actually paint everything. We can paint two walls at a time now. We finally upgraded that, but we do need to make it so we can't paint the same wall twice. I think that's how we're wasting a lot of our paint. I definitely don't hate this shade of pink though. It doesn't look terrible. Most pink rooms are like super bright or like the that lady that wanted us to paint her kitchen or whatever in like that amaranth magenta like super hot. That was gross. That was a disgusting color. They might even have a little uh little hidden room back behind here but we don't have a sledgehammer to break through the wall. I know there's a couple of houses in the game that do have these hidden rooms you can sort of find and there will be like cash or like super expensive paintings inside of there. Right, finish that out. Not too bad. Okay, that one's empty. It's probably a good thing we got three. New painting skill, finally. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Don't waste paint. That's what we want. Awesome. So now we shouldn't be able to paint the same spot twice. As long as it's already pink, that's all it's going to do. Yeah, that's a huge help. Uh, let's see, we still have more on the roller. It's kind of weird above that radiator. It doesn't really want us to paint above it. I'm just glad we don't have to remove the dang thing. I wonder if this is the only task this guy has for us. We're at 82%. We're almost there. And just this little underside here. And we should be... Boom. 100%. Awesome. Okay, so let's sell these. Get a little profit back in our pocket. Not much. A couple dollars here and there. But that looks pretty good. That's a good little, uh, good little nursery room. Okay, we'll close that up. It looks like we're not even close to being done with this place. Oh my god. Seriously, dude. They're about to have kids. Like, if you don't have free time even just to clean, why would you why would you bring a kid into this? That's horrible. Get our feather duster out. Oops. And we'll just clean the countertops. Clean up the floor. Um, from now on, you can finish incomplete orders by clicking enter. Um, why would we finish incomplete orders? We're trying to get this Skrilla. We're trying to get this money. Oh yeah, I, I apologize if my, uh, my voice sounds kind of gravelly. I quite literally just woke up, so... It's just, that's just what we're dealing with this morning. Okay, that looks pretty good on the dirt. We will have to come through and clean these windows. Let's get the window seal. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to we'll have to clean the windows. Unfortunately, this part will probably be skipped for you guys. Sweet. Okay, windows are done. Let's see. Turn on the lights in here. I'm super curious why they just have like half of this wall painted but looks like all of our tasks in that room are done oh god another disgusting bathroom i'm just glad there's no cockroaches anywhere i do so they they have an option in the game where you can turn on 
um, cockroaches, or you can make it so it's like broken glass or something. I have the cockroaches on, and <laughs> it's it's horrible. I mean, they look legit. They're super gross looking. They're just like scurrying around everywhere. Um, once we get to a house where they're actually in there, I I might throw up. It's it's bad. Let's get that wall. Okay, and this one. Oh my god. Yeah, no kidding. Zero free time. Don't even have time to clean more windows. I wonder when we get to upgrade the squeegee. Oh, as I say that, here we are. Um, so let's see. It doesn't say anything about a squeegee. I'm assuming if we upgrade this, we might be able to... Oh, it's probably faster cleaning though, right? Shoot, I don't know. Let's let's just get rid of our feather duster. So now we should, yeah. Now we ha actually have like a, a proper mop. It kind of looks like a brush, to be honest, but it's okay. So we got both those windows clean. That looks like it's it for that room. That's the nursery that we already did. Okay, so lastly, we just have the bathroom here. Not too bad. Clean this stuff up. Ooh, they have like moss growing behind their toilet and oh, that's gross, dude. Super gross. Close that door up. Wow. It's either moss or mold. One of the two. Okay, got all the dirt in here, it looks like. Now we just have to clean this window and we should be done. Okay, yeah. So when we when we upgrade our tools, um, our cleaning tool will also get a new squeegee. So that's nice. Now it doesn't take near as long. And it doesn't look like it's streaking as bad either. Okay, awesome. We're like 100% done. It says there's some dirt in here. But I honestly don't see any even on the mini-map. It also says there's some dirt up here. Bottom of the door. Boom. Okay, it looks like this one's done. Let's hop out and let's see what we get for it. Six thousand dollars Sweet, I'm cool with that. So that brings us to 36. Yep, 36,000. We got a new negotiation skill Let's do hmm Yeah, let's let's do 50% more payment That works for me. Let's get in our shack again. Go back to our little computer Okay, let's pop open our email Ethan Jones, you need to remove the bushes. Hey there, I have a bit of a problem. I tried to deal with weeds in my garden and got some kind of herbicide to get rid of them. Luckily, just to test it out, I used it on a couple of them and quickly realized that it's extremely effective. It destroyed the weeds as well as my bushes. I'm really glad I didn't spray it all over my yard, but unfortunately, I did it right in front of the entrance. Now the plants in that area are dried up and look pathetic. Please wipe them out and fill that spot with some fresh grass. Oh, and if you could mow my lawn as well, that would be fantastic. Best regards, Ethan. So, unfortunately um, for you guys, you probably won't get to watch me weed whack. <laughs> look at this. Congratulations. You have unlocked a new tool. From now on, you will be able to cut grass using the garden brush cutter. Oh, I'm not pumped about that. I'll give you guys a little taste. Um, it's pretty horrible. You you have to mow your whole lawn with a weed whacker. Not ideal. Not ideal at all, especially for bigger yards. This is just a small section. It's also super loud and annoying, but... Oh, okay, so we got 16% of, of mow the lawn complete. Let's go ahead and take these bushes out. All the ones that are dried up. Poor guy. Didn't know how good that herbicide was. Okay, we'll get a brush cutter out and we'll do over here as well. I, at least it looks like he has some stuff in his yard, so it's not 100% grass. I don't really want to sit here for two hours just weed whacking a lawn. Okay, so we're at 30% now. Progress bar is looking pretty good. Spread grass roll on the area. Okay, that should be pretty easy enough. Let's get our store open. 
I believe it's in surfaces, top, turf soil, Todd soil. <laughs> Big turf roll, that's what we want. All right, we'll get this as close to the fence as we can. I believe that's as close as we can get, unfortunately. Let's back it up and put it right there. Put another one as close next to it as we can. And another just here. Oh, we can't do that, that's okay. We'll start with these two big rolls. Roll them out, we'll cut them up. And then we'll do the same, just we'll have to go opposite directions, I suppose. All the way to the bush. Cut it, and the next one. Roll it out. We could have gotten by using a, a smaller roll here, but that's okay. All the way to the bush, cut it, sweet. Okay, so this shows we're 85% of the way done. Let's get, let's do the regular size turf rolls here. Just so we know we're not gonna miss any. And one, uh, we should probably do this one from the top so we get more coverage. Put it right there, awesome. Okay, <laughs> that was not what I was looking for. We'll try that again, right there. Okay, roll this one out. This ain't too bad, it's not too bad at all. Roll these two out and cut it. And then we'll roll this one out also. And when you do use these, you kind of get like a, a weird little line thing. The only way to get rid of that is to come over it with the super, super, super tiny rolls. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're not even going to mess with that today. If this was our own house, we might. But thankfully, it's not. Okay, let's... Oops. Let's use the other ones. Turf roll. By now. One there, one there, and one in the center. Perfect. Roll these out, and that should be the last of it. And then we'll, all we'll have to do is, is mow the guy's lawn. So that's not too bad. Cut that one, and roll this one out. And cut that one. Awesome, not too bad. So this shows we're good. This one shows we're good. And the rest of the area, honestly, we just have to mow it. We're at 32% of the lawn. It looks like we're done as far as what he wanted us to do other than mow the lawn. We don't have to complete the whole order, but we are kind of in need for some money. So I, I might just mow the rest of this guy's lawn. It shouldn't take me too long. Okay, and we'll turn back around, get this last little section there. Yeah, it looks like he's got some nice furniture out here, so there's not much of a lawn, thankfully. Get this little bit. Is this open? Aw, oh, I didn't even have to jump the fence. We could have just gone that way. It's kind of a cool house design. I've never seen one with, with brick pillars like that. It's kind of a good idea. Okay, last little strip here, boom. Order is now 100% complete. I think we did pretty good there. Definitely did all, all that he wanted us to do. We get 1200 bucks for that, you know what? I'll take it. For right now, we can do a lot with 1200 bucks. Let's hop back in here and get on our computer once more. Whew, we got 10 emails now, business is booming. Okay, let's see, Xavier Wolski says he wants a small lawn and a pool. Yeah, let's let's try this out. Hello, I haven't been home in a while, and well, it's gotten a bit overgrown. I haven't got time for mowing, especially because my plot is quite large. Oh no, so I'll gladly hand the work over. Moreover, I'd love to have a decent swimming pool in the garden. Please place it near the terrace. Regards, Xavier Wolski. All right, Xavier, we'll, we'll try to help you out here, brother. Uh, what? Uh, what? That's new? I didn't know we could get a... That's sick. Okay, from now on, you can make use of the lawnmower. 
choose it in the tools menu, then use it by pressing E. The indicator on the handle indicates its current speed, which you can change by scrolling. Okay, this is going to be super handy. Um, do you have to place it? Okay, you have to place it like in the open yard. Let's see, how do we use this thing? Oh my god, shift to align mowing. To be honest, I don't see it mowing anything. Uh, is there like a... Oh, there we go. We actually have to hold it down. Try to turn it around. Back it up if we can. It's not very intuitive, I'll tell you that much. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. So if you hold shift, it like aligns itself. We're hitting a bush or something. Dang it. So we're still going to have to come through and weed whack by the looks of it. But this ain't bad. This is, I will definitely take this over over the weed whacker. It's definitely more fun to use. Way harder to use, but... Dang, this is awesome, dude. I seriously, like... I think in episode one, I was even talking about, like, they don't they don't have a, a push mower or anything like that, and here they have a push mower. I did not know that. And this is where he wants the pool. We're just going to go crazy for a little while. Um, honestly, I'll probably cut most of this out so you guys don't have to watch this, but I will catch up with you guys when we're done um, getting this new skill point. Okay, how do I... How do I stop using this thing? Just hands? Okay. Gardener, let's use... Oh, we have an axe? That's cool. Increase planting speed. Shoot. Um, let's just... Let's go with the axe. Just because I'm curious on what that looks like. Let's get our lawnmower back out. Dude, this is so sick. Alright, I'd say we're probably done with the actual lawnmower. It doesn't look too bad. Once I started to sort of get the hang of it, um, honestly, I totally prefer it over the Weed Whacker, but it doesn't look like you can use that to get like super close to the hedges or anything like that, so it does have its drawback. You still have to use the Weed Whacker, unfortunately, but no big deal. We'll, we'll make do for now. So we're going to have to come through here and just trim up all the stuff we couldn't get with the mower. And then after that, we should be ready to put this dude's pool in. This is actually a really cool level. I didn't I didn't think that uh, I didn't think we'd ever get that push mower. I'm super hyped about that. All right. It says we did 97% of the lawn. I don't want to really go around to figure out... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go, here we go. I was going to say, I don't really want to go to figure out where all we missed, but I think this should put us at 100% after we get this cleaned up. I completely went, like, right past this. Okay, so that's that puts us at 100% now. It says he wants to bury and fill swimming pool Moline. Moline. So let's go to store, swimming pool. I figured pool would pull it up. Pool, yeah, swimming, oh, swimming, <laughs> swimming pool is not one word. I, sh I should have known that. Let's try that again. Swimming, pool, Jesus. Swimming pool, what was the one that he wanted? Something I couldn't pronounce. What was it again? Swimming pool Moline. Let's try that again. Swimming pool Moline with what? All he says is swimming pool Moline. So I guess we get a little choice here. Uh, let's see. What would work the best for his house? He has a brick house. Yeah, let's go brown. Actually, brown wouldn't look too bad. 
by that. Let's rotate it around. Try to get it in the zone that he wants it. Looks like this is it's pretty close. How far out can we go? Pretty far? Okay, okay. That looks pretty good to me. We're gonna try to line this up as best we can. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so now we have to like dig it, first of all. Luckily we upgraded our shovel, otherwise this would take us forever. So it says the hole is now dug. We can place the pool. Cover it with soil. <laughs> Same animation as doing plants for some reason. There we go, now we just have to fill it with our hose. Awesome. Sweet. Yo, we got that like right on the line. That's pretty, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's, that's impressive. Alright, place. Object times two, wooden sun lounger. Okay, we do have some space for that, thankfully. Wooden sun lounger. Furniture, let's get some white ones. I feel like white would look pretty good out here. And we'll kind of put them at an angle. Maybe one there. And another over here. Let's do the other one, just like that. Perfect. So we got we got some lounge chairs on the deep end of the pool. I'm into it, dude. This was a this was a cool level. I'm super pumped about that uh, about the the lawnmower. Looks like we missed a little there, but whatever. We're good enough. All right. Let's see how much we get for that. Eighty four hundred bucks. Sold. All right. Okay, well, uh, I think with, with those couple ones done, I think we're going to wind things down for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a comment below. Uh, if you didn't like what you saw at all, uh, leave it in the comments below. I'll do anything I can to try to make this better for you guys. Uh, but I'm really enjoying the series. Let me know in the comments if you guys are. That's going to do it for this one. Peace out.